Yo, what the fuck is up, guys? It's Mr. Snowman back here yet another troll video today on the Xbox. Right off the bat, if you guys have been inside of the Snowman Savage Club World, you will see that there is a pretty decent sized bomb hole underneath the main hub area. Now, the reason that that is there, it's not a grief or anything like that. The reason that's there is I'm actually building a staircase going downwards into another room. Now, this room is going to look really cool with water and lava and stuff like that, and it's going to have a gigantic pedestal in the middle, specifically just for the uh, um, atlas which that's coming out. If you guys don't know what the atlas is, it's a gigantic uh, world link portal kind of deal. It brings you like all the different worlds. The new Shadow Tyrant that's coming out and all this good stuff. We have a subscriber count over here, and yeah, so it's been going along pretty well. I do have to do a little bit more editing in the club world. Uh, over here, this gold portal right here is for fishing and this one goes towards a daughter of the moon build that's uh, currently being built and if you guys don't already know this you can actually go down here inside of this waterfall and there's a bunch of worldling portals here i wrote swan because i'm a retard and it didn't even fit so i put an n there but yeah so the club this is the world club link portal so if you guys have any world portals that you want to add if they have a good build and stuff like that definitely let me know and i will uh gladly toss them in here we do need a few more in here what, what is this one autism alliance the most autism of 15k okay i did not know about that one but there we go so uh, other things I've come to realize, so we're actually going to be talking about Diamond Dragon Eggs today. So the thing is, there's a missing glass block right here, I'm not really sure why, but the thing is with the Diamond Dragon Eggs, so you get a couple pieces of Diamond Dragonite, I think you get maybe like five or six a day, maybe even three or three to five a day, depending on what your total power rank is. Now I did move over um, a lot of my good gems, well, not a lot of my good gems, but a lot of my higher ranker gems to my candy bar, which my candy bar right now is 11k, so that's a lot better than uh, what it was before. So I moved over all my gems, did gain about 6,000 power rank just based off that, so I am over 5k, I am uh, pretty decently high up in the rank, I think. Uh, what rank am I? Does it even say am I only 5200? 5200 power rank? What the fuck? Okay, so I guess that's that's shot. I thought I was uh, higher up on that. I must have took some gear off or something, but uh, anyway, so I moved over a lot of my gear. Uh, the night I have to get to as well, but I'm moving over all my gems basically that I don't want to re-roll that I just want strictly for power rank because like I said before, I do have a bunch of classes that I'm not going to end up playing, so I'll just put shit gems on just specifically so I can uh, go ahead and uh, just have total power rank just so I can get more diamond dragonite. But if you have flux, you could buy Dragonite pouches. They are going for a little bit cheaper right now. They go for 198, 199. They usually go for 200k. But the bad thing is, you spend 200,000 flux on a Diamond Dragonite pouch and only gives you 10 fragments, which really sucks. So about a million flux, as of right now, a million flux will give you 50 fragments, which is completely shot. I have 184 right now. So I mean, give or take, I didn't really uh, go through and do um when I when it was kill the 500 pinatas. I didn't go through and do all that, so I did not get the 25 Diamond Dragonite from that. So my luck is I'm going to have to craft them in like two months because that's about like at the right time of when I'm actually going to get all the fragments I need. I'll also do more challenges, of course, obviously. Uh, this week, or uh, for the Gather and Light Quest event, they actually gave you 25 just from using an XP potion, which was pretty cool. It was nice of them to do that. So between that and the Killing 500 Pinatas, you actually got 50 uh, Diamond Dragonite. Um, yeah, I guess it's what it's called, Diamond Dragonite. It's not Fragments or anything like that. I think it's just strictly called that. But the bad news is, like I said, I didn't do the first one, so I'm missing out on 25. And I'm not going to spend my money on these pouches because, honestly, well, all right. First of all, I don't need help in a U9 dungeon. Oh, my God, I cringe. God damn it. It's so easy to solo U9 plus go away. Oh, God. <laughs> so within the next couple days, I should be about halfway to actually going through and getting my Diamond Dragon Egg. You need 400 fragments, and I have 185. Within the next two days, I should have around 200. So, I mean, I really want Diamond Dragon Egg. I want my stats to be even better. I'm probably going to get the Fire one first because that's where my best stats are. Uh, until I obviously open up all my air gem boxes and I can get better air gems. But as of right now, uh, my fire gems are the best ones I have. Yesterday, it was Wednesday. So instead of fishing, I actually went through and spent a decent amount of time in a uh, U... Wait, what was it? Yeah, U9 Water World. And I got about 300 to 400 boxes. I got a bunch of two stars, but they're all health... Like, they're all two health stats. And I know you can reroll them soon, but the power rank wasn't even good either. I think the highest power rank one I got was like, uh, maybe like 520, maybe 510, even 490, who even fucking knows? But it was absolutely, like, disgusting, it wasn't even worth re-rolling, so I just trashed them all, got a bunch of dust, leveled up my current gems I have on right now, but I need more Ninth Lights from those, which, you know, they took them out of getting them in the weekly rotation, they took them out, so you can't get, uh, you know, them anymore, why am I still getting fouled around, what the fuck? 
So the way I've been getting ninth lives is just um basically getting as many uh what is it the ladybugs as I can and then making them into ninth lives. But I haven't been getting that many ladybugs. Like I just spend every single cubit I get every single day on regenerators and I don't go for uh, gem booster boxes at all. And there hasn't been any hot flash deals in my marketplace that I can actually go through and buy them for like a really cheap price. I think the last flash deal I got was like 65 of them for like maybe five bucks, which was absolutely insane. Obviously, I went through and did that. But until uh, since then, I haven't really gotten one. I got like three Empowered Gem Box out of all those, which is really cool. But then I got absolute shit from the Empowered Gem Boxes. Hello, Chaos Chests. What do we got? And uh, nothing. Five, 75 Golden Seashells. How cute. Disgusting. All right. But uh, the day I actually go through and get, I think the next tier is 125,000, maybe 150,000. I can't remember. But somewhere around there, I'll check in just a second. I'll actually be able to get more Diamond Dragon Egg every single day, which will obviously speed up the process of me getting my Diamond Dragon Egg. Which is what I really want because, once again, I want my stats to get boosted up and my power rank as well. When I do finally get one, that means I can get 20k power rank. But until then, my gems don't really have enough juice in them, I don't think, to actually get me up there. But I'll have to see. Um, but basically, it's going to take me a long-ass time to actually level them up all the way because I don't have enough knife lives. I think I might have one in my inventory right now, but I'm not on my class to look. I haven't really been, just been grinding gems that much lately. Uh, obviously, after I get my air gem boxes, I'm going to go through and go grind like normal. Like, usually I go inside and get like 300 different boxes each Wednesday. But I just haven't, you know, had the motivation to go out and grind because I know I get shit gems every single time. So what's the point? Um, and I'm obviously waiting for uh, gem rerolling as well when I can actually get really good stats. So I'm really looking forward to that. But as of right now, I have a bunch of crit hit gems on my um, gunslinger that I need to get rid of which really sucks, but I do have a few health stats as well, but there's nothing you can really do about health. I can switch them over, obviously, to crit hit, so I have a little bit more crit hit and a little bit less health, so that'll work out really good as well. I think I only have one gem right now that is actually health regen. I mean, I could hop on and check right now, which I'm going to, so let me hop on my gunslinger real quick and see what kind of gems I need to switch around. So, here we go. Uh, right here. Now, I probably get a little bit lower because I have a hat on. I just need to put a few more pearls on my hat, and I should be all set. But this one, uh, I have to get a new one because it rolled the crit damage twice and max health once. I really want it to roll the ma magic damage once instead of max health. But once again, what's the odds of actually getting a perfect um, water gem, having it be a class gem, and then also having it roll into what I want it to? It's not, not looking too good for me. But if I do uh, switch that max health to crit hit, it'll actually be a pretty decent gem. But uh, this one right here, I do have enough dust leveled up, but I need to make a knife life and level it up, which is what I might do right now because I don't really need all those luck bugs. So that's what I might go for right now. And then this one obviously is now perfect, but we're on the crit hit once and magic damage twice, I think. So magic damage isn't too bad on it. And then this one rolled into the magic damage twice and maybe crit hit once. So once again, that's really shitty. I wish that I didn't roll in the crit hit, but I rolled the crit damage. But my stats as of right now, actually, do I want to check? I don't really have my fucking hat on. Does it matter though? I, don't know, I guess I'm just missing power rank, but oh, I am missing a little bit of crit damage as well. So my stats aren't the best. I mean, 160k. And almost 1100, which I'm really looking forward to actually hitting 1100. But I'll do, I will need a better gem. I'll, uh, do I want to go get a different class gem? I mean, I can. All right, we're gonna go try going into an Everdark right now, seeing what kind of class gem I can actually get. And if I get a perfect one, I will probably fucking cream. So we're gonna go in the Dawn because we have a U8 and a U9 uh, Everdark portal in there. I'm gonna go into a U8. Uh, U8 or U9? Oh, this is a tough one. I know it doesn't matter, but what's the better chances of getting what? Now, I'm going to go into a U9 because I ain't no bitch. So, we're going to go into a U9 Everdark with my Gunslinger. Hopefully get a water with perfect stats. If I do, I'll probably scream and cry and everything above. But, we're going to go through right now and check. Make sure I have my keys on me. I have five of them. Okay, so I should definitely be able to open up at least one and hopefully get something good. Now, I will use up to like a max of two. And the other three I'm going to save and then use them on different characters. My Chloromance needs a better one. My Revenant still needs a class gem. Uh, what, else, what else needs a class gem? I think just my tomb. No, my tomb razor has one, I believe. Maybe I think I thought I got one. Yeah, a tomb razor has one. So I think I'm only missing like maybe three to four class gems. I have one on my knight, but that one got deleted, so I'll have to get a new one on my knight, which really sucks. Cause that's literally just a waste of a class gem key. So I guess I go fuck myself. But I'm really looking forward to getting all my classes or class gems. I did. I was gonna do videos on them, but it didn't really seem like you guys needed that kind of like tutorial because a lot of you already know what the classrooms do and all that good stuff. The Down Tamer one was really good for you guys. Uh, I noticed that it helped a lot of you out because it was fresh on the consoles. And for you guys that didn't know if it was good or not to actually start playing the character, we're short a few flasks, rest in peace. But for you guys that didn't know if the character was good or not and you wanted to see what it did, uh, right there, boom, that helped you out a lot, which I really, really enjoyed the class gem. I think it's like, obviously, 
The Down Tamer is like all about its ultimate ability, which is really good that the class gem actually buffs up the ultimate ability like times 10. So that's one of my favorite things about the class as well. But I haven't really ha felt any like desire to actually want to go through and play the Down Tamer since I got up to level 30. So we're going to keep all my gems and gear on my Gunslinger and then worry about that for another day. But as of right now, I did move over a little gear to my, uh, what is it, to my Dino Tamer as well. Just had a bunch of Stellars and stuff laying around, so I just tossed them on a bunch of different characters that I don't use, and that were level 30, because level 30 characters I'm not going to go back on. For instance, not going to go back on the Candy Bar, probably. Not going to go back on the Fae Trickster for a long time. Uh, even though I like the Fae Trickster, just didn't just didn't farm me 9 dungeons that quick. So, uh, oh my god, someone someone put a Nick... God damn it, Dicey, why'd you, why'd you have to quote Nick Crompton over here? But, uh, so... I feel like I'm never going to play the level 30 characters again, and then as soon as I move over all my gems and shit... I'm like, wow, I actually want to play that character, so I got to take them all off, put the good ones on, and all that big cancer headache. There we go, got an air, that's absolutely disgusting. But, the good news is, I should be able to get an empowered gem box out of this, because I can get two from this one, and then two more from the next one that we're going to be opening, so I'll haul ass over here and do that. But, I just really need a water one, even if I can't get a water one, I get a perfect fire gem, or a perfect air one, I will grind my ass off and try getting an empowered uh, water gem. I'll even just spend a bunch of money in the game, get a bunch of empowered gem boxes, and call it a fucking day. But until then, sadly, I have to go with my stats right now. I do want them to get a lot better, but uh, I just I just don't know what to do. Like, I can't tell if I should go out and grind for new gems and go for strictly power rank gems and re-roll them. Or if I should just go out and get, um, I already have the gems, but like, I guess I just want to wait and re-roll them. Because the gems I have right now, I think it, I have a few that rolled in a crit hit non-stop. So I think I have one gem that rolled in a crit hit three times, which I can roll that in the crit damage. And have a bunch of crit damage, which is what I really like, because I don't really need all that crit hit. So, I mean, it's kind of a plus, kind of not, but... Uh, like I said in yesterday's video, if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. If you guys want an ally that gives you crit hit, magic find, and even crit damage, and you don't have the Rap Berserker or the uh, Chronomancer Cubesley, I highly suggest getting the uh, new allies in the game. You have to go to the Radiant Bench. I don't know what's. I think it's called the Radiant Dawn Bench, Radiant Forge, something like that. Uh, after 18 days of logging on, you can actually go through and get that. And don't worry if you miss a few days this month. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna go through next month and do the same thing that they're doing with July's tokens and make it so you can buy them because you know Trove is about that pay to win life. So use our last gem key right here. Can we please get a decent one? Can we at least get a water for the water gem dust? All right, guys. All right, boys. We got the water one. I think it has three stats. Oh my god, what is that? Who's man? Whose man is this? All right, let's see if I can. Let's see if it rolls in a crit, or let's see if it gets crit damage as a third stat. So I do have enough dust to get up to level five. What do we got here? Come on! If it has crit damage, and it ends up rolling into uh, crit damage the other two times, and I'll perfectly take it. Okay. All right. So this this has potential. I will be losing power rank, but my stats could also go up a ton. Now, I don't have any horseshoes. I could easily go through and get horseshoes, but I'm not going to because I'm fucking ignorant. All right. We have level nine. Now, if this rolls into max health, it's easily getting dismantled and tossed away, but for right now, I want to go through and actually see that I can level up. So, we're going to go into the Snowman Savage Club world right now, go dismantle a few waters that I have inside of my inventory, and then we're going to toss them on and see how it goes. Now, I do have a bunch of good water and power gems. They do have some health stats, do have uh, some magic stats, do have some physical stats, but like I said, I was waiting for those for the reroll, which is another reason why I don't know if I should go out and grind gems or not. So, let's see if I have any water gems in here that I can actually go through and dismantle. Uh, this one, see this one I'm talking about with the health, gotta get rid of the health. This one's not bad if I can reroll that max health to crit damage, I'll be pretty happy. Is there any two stars in here? What is this one? Uh, this one's weak. Oh wait, this one rolled into health regen. Yeah, it rolled into health regen the first time. So I'm gonna just trash this one completely because I never see myself using it. So I'm gonna trash this right now, and then if I want it back, if this one's shit, then I'll dismantle this one and buy this one back. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So we'll dismantle this level 5 one right here. Go through and uh, level up this new gem right here. Okay, that's the wrong one. Rest in peace. All right, please roll into crit damage, and I'll be happy. Any crit damage, baby. Let's go. Come on. Not max health. Crit damage. Okay, so we are, we're getting potential here. All right, so now we're going to use lock bugs, even though I'm, it's complete overkill. So now we need water gem dust to get this up to level 15. That's going to be a grind. But I will do that off camera so you guys don't have to watch that. I'm going to go through and do a few water dungeons right now and see what I actually get. And in tomorrow's video, I'll let you guys know how it went. But odds are it's going to be complete shit. And it's not going to be lucky whatsoever. I'm going to leave all my chat so I can take a thumbnail in just a second. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, as always, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And stay frosty, everybody.